hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding what is Odoo environment so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our Odoo 15 development tutorials so in the previous video we have covered different topics in Odoo 15 development and in the video that contains python code you might have seen we have used the variables like self self.env etc so upon using that i have just explained you that self is a record set so still there might be people who is not still convinced with what is self or there might be people who who need to know what is self and what is self.env and what all variables are available inside the self.env so this env is called odoo environment so in this video we will be explaining you what is self what is self.env and what all variables is there inside this environment so let's see about it in detail so currently in the screen you can see i have created a view where I have a couple of fields one is model and here I have a text field so I have just created this to illustrate the Odoo environment so the functionality is that suppose if I enter some code here and if I execute this button so if I type some code here and if I click on execute it will show the result inside this box so this is just I have created in order to explain what all variables is there inside Odoo environment so let's see what is self first so here you can see so just I will clear once more there is nothing like this this is just a demo purpose so instead of typing inside this pie charm and coming back and executing by clicking a button or something just we can write some code here on clicking this button this will evaluate what we have written over here and its result will be shown over here so i hope you understood so let me refresh the screen so i'll come to the playground so first of all we will be starting with what is self so if i enter self here and if i click on execute you can see the result is coming as odoo.playground of 18 so this is a record set in odoo so first of all what is a record set a record set is an object by which we can access its inner field or inner values like if we have self i can call self dot by using that dot operator i can traverse inside that record so such object where we can access its inside elements using the dot operator is called as a record set record set so first of all the self is a record set of current object so if you check the url my current model is odoo dot playground so here in the url you can see currently i am inside the odoo dot playground model and my id is 18 so inside this model when you execute self you are getting odoo.playground of 18 that is self saying we are at this model at this record self and i can access anything inside this model suppose if i need to get value of this field here you can see in this model we have a field called model id so if i enter self dot model id let's see what it returns if i click on execute it returns ir model of zero because currently there is no value that's why it returns like this suppose we have so this text field name is code you can see the technical name of this field is called if i enter self dot code and if i execute you can see we are retrieving or we are receiving the value that we have entered as a result so if i add something here test and if i execute and if i come back here you can see we are getting the value inside this field so the self is the record set where the code execution happened suppose if you are what i can say let me duplicate this tab and if you go to the sales module and if you are executing some functions like confirm or cancel 
your self will be sale order of the id that is sale dot order of 36 so the self will be the object where you execute that function so i hope you understood what is self now we will be going into odoo environment that is self dot env so self dot env if i execute this code i'll click on execute you can see you are getting a class like this odoo dot api environment object at this so let's discuss what is self dot env so i'll go to the pycharm and here we have our odoo 15 and here we have the odoo source code so what i'll do is that i'll search for environment inside the odoo source code so i'll right click find in path and if you search for environment environment you can see a class named environment so i'll search inside the python and if you scroll down you will see a class so let me just go down you will see a class environment so let me search for class yeah you can see a class defined inside api so if i open that here you can see the file is odoo odoo api.py and here you have the environment so this is the odoo environment where inside this class you will see a lot of functions manage or is it new and you can see rough you have is super user is admin and like that you have a different functions inside this environment so we can access all those functions by just calling self.env user like that we can call so we will be discussing about what all variables is available inside odoo environment so here you can see as a sample in order to not to forget during the video i have just added a default value for this field like available variables so self is current object and self.env is odoo environment on which action is triggered then we have the variables like self.env user self.env is system self.env is admin is super user company companies lang cr and context so let's see what is each of those variable so you can see self.env is odoo environment now i'll start with self.env user so i have changed my code into self.env user and if i execute that you can see as a response of this code i'm getting res.users of two so the self.env user will return the record set of current logged in user so here you can see currently i'm logged into the system as mitchell admin so when i execute the code self.env user i get res.users of two so from this tab i'll go to the settings and here you, we have the users menu so if i open mitchell admin you can see the model is res.users and the id is 2 so you can see res.users of 2 we are getting the record set of logged in user so as it is a record set i can traverse inside using the dot operator so i'll go dot if i need to get the name you can see what is this field name so let me activate the debug mode it's already activated you can see the technical name of name field is name so what i'll do self.env user dot name and if i execute that you can see the result is mitchell admin which is the name of logged in user so if i need to get another email address so the technical name for the email address field is login so if i need to get the email address i can put like self.env user dot login and if i execute you can see you are getting admin so if i am logging as a different user and if i execute self.env user you will be getting that id so you can try that by switching the user from the system so i hope you understood what is self.env user so self.env user will return the record set of current logged in user so that's done now we will be moving into the next 
variable that is is system so here you can see self dot env is system return whether the current user has group settings or in super user mode so if you come to the pycharm so here we have is super user is admin is system keywords so here you can see the command returns whether the environment is in super user mode so you can see from here we can activate super user mode by clicking become super user mode so we can check whether the system is in super user mode or not by using self.env is super user so self.env is super user let me try that self.env is super user and if i execute i'm getting a result like that and you can just try the same by activating the super user mode so this is not commonly used so that is one function is super user then is admin so this function variable can be used in order to check whether the current user has group access right or is it in super user mode so if you go to the users form view so here we have the users form view and if you scroll down here you can see we have an administration group where there is two value that is access right and settings so if you check is admin it will return whether the current user has group access right whether the current user has group access right and if you check is system it will check whether the current user has group settings so these are is super user is admin is system so we will not be discussing much about those variables so we will be moving into self.env company so here you can see self.env company return the current company so let me try that self.env company i'll type over here and if i execute the same you can see as a response i'm getting res.company of two so let me go to the companies menu so from users and companies here we have the companies menu and if i open this and what result we get res company of two that is inside res.company model record with id2 so if i check here in the url this is id1 so if i switch here you can see id2 so the self.env company returns the current company of the user so i have already activated the multi company last day so in order for you to test what you can do is that come to the companies and create a company here so i'll create a third company odoo so here you can see currently in my database we have got three companies odoo odoo mates and your company and i'll just refresh the screen and currently you can see all the companies available companies will be listed over here and if you execute self.env company execute you can see this company of one so as it is a record set i'll call dot name if i execute my current company is your company and if i switch my company to odoo mates so here you can see i have switched to odoo mates and if i execute the same you can see my current company is odoo mates and if i switch to the odoo so i'm changing my company to odoo and if you execute this one you can see the result is odoo so the self.env company will give the current company of the locked in user so i hope you understood self.env company then the next one the next available variable is self.env companies return a record set of enabled companies by the user so let's try this self.env companies self.env companies and if i execute it returns res.company of three that is currently i have only activated you can see we have a tick mark over here so i have enabled only a single company that is res company of three of three means res company of id three so let me activate one more company your company i have just activated and if i execute the same code you can see res.company of 3 comma 1 because we have two records restored company of 3 comma record 1 
and if i activate Uru mates also we will get three companies so if i execute you can see restored company of three comma one comma two so i hope you understood what is the company's variable will returns a record set of enabled companies by the user so i hope it's clear for you so the next available variable inside the environment is language the lang so you can enter self.env lang l a n g and if you execute you can see it returns e and u s so my current language in the database is english so that's why it return e and u s so from this tab i'll go to the translation here i have the languages and or what you can say you can click on the user and if you click on preference you can see my language current language is english english us so english us this language is enabled by the user and its local code you can see its code is en us so self.env lang will return the code of current language that is user language now what i will do i will switch my language to another language so from here the translation you can just load different languages inside your database so what i will do i will add one more language which one french so here we have french be i'll just activate that and i'll just load it into the database so i have just enabled the french in my database so you can see it's getting loaded so french has been successfully installed and it is asking whether we need to switch to the french so uh, yeah i'll switch to the french so the language has been switched to the french i'll just refresh here also and if you check here other menu has been got changed here you can see the name has been changed to french but still the hospital is in the original name because we haven't added any translation for our module that's why it still remains in english and now if i execute self.env.lang let's see what we get and if i execute now you can see it returns frbe instead of enus now let's me change my language from preference i'll switch to arabic and if i save can see system is loaded into arabic you can see all the other menus has been changed to arabic except hospital because we don't have the translation and if i execute you can see the language is returning arsy so arsy is the code of arabic syria so in order to get the current language of user you can use self.env lang l a n g so i hope you understood that thing now we will be moving into the next variable that is self.envcr so let's execute that self.envcr if i execute you can see odoo is returning odoo.sqldb a cursor so self.envcr is a database cursor by which we can perform the query operations inside the database so you can write like this self.envcr.execute and you can perform a database operation like what i can say select star from hospital management select star from blah 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 you can write the query like this so cr is a cursor point cursor object by which you can perform the database operation directly the direct without using orm we can direct communicate with the postgres using the query so self.env cr is cursor object what then what will we see then we have self.env the context so let's discuss about the context so what i'll do is that i'll print self.env context and let me execute this and here you can see once we print self.env context we can see the result is coming like this it contains language current language is still arabic so the context contain language then tz time zone so time zone tz is time zone so it returns cuba so if i click on preference and if you check my time zone so let me change my language back to english us click on save system will reload and if i come back to the preference 
here you can see my time zone is cuba so that's what it returns inside context tz is cuba uid so my current user id is 2 so if you go to the users form view so let me refresh here also here users form view and if you check the id of mitchell admin it's 2 uid 2 allowed companies so here you can see we have enabled all companies allowed companies is 312 and it's param like which menu we are accessing what is action what is model that is params is an information of current model and here we have see one test equal to one this test equal to one so these are always available we can we will be available always this thing that is lang tz uid it will be available always inside the context this test one at the last is coming from this menu so we are accessing this form from the playground and it is linked with an action so if i click on debugger button and if you click on edit action here you can see inside context i have passed test as one so if i remove this and if i keep empty save and if i execute self.env context self.env context execute you can see still test is coming so let me refresh and make sure that it has been gone from the context so let me remove the context so i think the context will be getting cleared now and if i execute self.env context again good you can see right now we don't have the test variable so if i come to the edit action and you can add something here i'll add auto 15 tutorials like a marker i will pass in the context auto 15 tutorials as one and if i save and if i refresh and if i print self.env context you can see you are getting that inside the context now if you need to access any variable from this dictionary you can do like this self.env context dot get if you need to get time zone you can put self.env context dot get dot get will get the key value so if i execute you can see cuba if i need to get uid that is current logged in user id execute you can see it returns to then what else if i need to get only something else what i can say if i need to get language you can put self.env context dot get lang which will return the language and what we have added odoo 15 tutorials so let's see this one also odoo 15 tutorials self.env context dot get you enter this execute it will turn one so this is the context so regarding the context we will be making a separate video at the end of this 15 tutorials because we have a lot more to explore inside self.env context so i hope you understood the things that we have already explained self self.env self.env user language company company cr context etc so all these codes you can be used inside your python codes so if you are developing a module or writing a function these variables you can use inside your code inside python code so in order to illustration purpose i have just created this view so before winding up let's discuss few more points so i have just told you the self is current model odoo playground of 21 so let's see how we can get a environment of a separate object so if i go to the appointment so from this tab i'll go to the hospital here we have our appointment model so if i need to get an environment of this model hospital dot appointment i'll just copy this name then you can initialize it like this self dot e and v then put a square bracket then inside this you can specify the model name self dot env of this model so i'm saying i need to get an environment of this model and if you execute you can see hospital dot appointment you will be getting an environment of this model similarly you can give any model hospital dot patient hospital dot patient if you execute you will be getting a environment of that model so i'll keep it to appointment itself so copy i'll keep environment of hospital dot 
appointment and let me execute this now let's imagine we need to get one record from here so let me take an in consultation so here we have the record with id 25 so let me get this record set i can do browse that is an or method by which passing the id we will be getting a record set so self.env hospital dot appointment dot browse so regarding the browse we will have a lot of or methods in Urdu like create search write unlink copy etc so i'll be making a separate video of Odoo or methods in upcoming videos so just understand browse will give us if you pass some id inside browse it will return the record set so right now if i execute you can see hospital dot appointment of 25 now if i need to get patient here you can see patient id so here we have a record set as it is a record set i can call dot patient id patient id if you execute this you'll get hospital patient dot this is also a record set then i'll use dot name execute you can see Odoo mates so if you come here you can see the patient is Odoo mates and if you need to get the value of rough what you can so what you can do browse and instead of patient id put rough you can see the value is triple five so these operations can be performed using this one now let's see how we can revoke one function so here we have the function mark as done you can see the method that called by this button is action done you can see in the tool tip so let me try to confirm so here we have the record set then i'll call record set of action done so on that record set i can perform this function of action done so currently here you can see it is in in consultation state what i'm doing is that from code i'm calling this method action done so let's execute this and see so it has been executed and if i refresh you can see the record has been moved to done state so i hope you understood the thing so before winding up let's go to the pie charm here we have you can see the class environment and here you can see just you can go through all this function like what we can say you have a rough so let's discuss this diff rough so before winding up let's discuss that environment also self.env rough so we have self.env rough then we can pass so this is one, one point that i have missed so if you need to get a record set by its external id what i can say suppose we have an external id of record and if we need to get its record set we can use self.env rough so if i go to hospital here we have the configuration under that we have tags and here you can see we have tags like vip kid adult ceo and mrs which we have created from code so if we go to the custom add-ons here we have om hospital and if you check the data file patient tag data xml you can see vip kid adult and mr so if i need to get its external id you can click the debugger button click on view metadata here you can see xml id om hospital which is our module name then the record id so i'll copy patient tag vip so patient tag vip is patient tag vip you can see its id so i'll copy this and i will put it inside the rough like this so i'm just passing self.env rough of i have passed an external id and if i execute it returns a record set so if you check here the model is patient dot tag and id is five so we can get the record set and if i put dot name it will return the name vip so this is the use of self.env rough we can pass any model like if right now we have only tag to illustrate so if i go to the contacts so here we have some demo data let me check view metadata here also we have xml id so i'll copy this and if i pass that into the rough 
and if I execute, you can see Brenton Freeman, which is the name of this record. Similarly, if I choose any record, this is a show interior. So view metadata, I'll copy its ID, XML ID. And if I put over here, and if I execute, you can see Azure Interior. So if I change the name, you can see record set of partner, and I can access any value. If I need to get its phone number, the technical name is phone. So I can just put dot phone here. It will return the phone number. You can see this number is coming from here. So that is use of self.env rough. So if I go here, so self we have rough we have discussed is super user, is admin, is system, user, company, companies, language clear. So rest of the function you can just check and elaborate. So I hope we have covered the basic Odoo environment and environmental variables. So if you have any doubts, feedbacks or suggestions, please share with us over the email or directly comment under the video. And if you like the video, please do click the like button and support us by having a comment and referring the channel with your Odoo friends and Odoo beginners. So that's it for the day. Have a nice day. Thank you.